Hi guys, um, this is my second attempt to doing this today because my phone rang and I've just had a lovely chinwag with an old school friend of mine down in Worthing. So hi Leanne, I don't think you ever watch these YouTubes but if you do, you're mentioned. I just had a lovely chat with you and it's now half past 11, the 15th of May 2017. If you've only just joined me, welcome, hello, and my name is Jan Silver. I've been video logging my journey to and beyond a gastric bypass which I had Nearly nine weeks ago, I had it on Wednesday. It'll be my nine week surgery. My name's Jan, also known as Eyebrows, according to Lisa. Anyway, slightly off track there. Um, I was going to give you my stats for those of you who've just joined and haven't been following my journey. So I'll do it first in for us Brits because we work in stones and pounds generally. So I will tell you that at the beginning of my journey, I'm 44 years old and my height is five foot five and a half. At the beginning of my journey, my highest recorded weight was in December 2016 and I weighed a grand total of, embarrassed already, 18 stone 12 pounds. Yes, that was me. One big fat fucking heifer, sorry. Um, and today I weigh 15 stone eight. So I've lost a grand total of three stone four and a half pounds. That ain't bad going. Yes, it was surgery. It's not been easy, but it's not bad going either. And I feel pretty damn good about those results on the scales. I am only weighing myself weekly at the moment. So Thursday is my weigh in day, but I just thought I'd fill you in. I was going to do my stats yesterday and then it completely left my head. So I have to do it from my little thing here. Okay. I'll now tell you in kilos. Highest 120 and today, I, well, Thursday last week, I weighed 98.9 kg, whoop, whoop, under the 100. Uh, so I've lost a grand total of 21.1 kg in pounds. For those of you that are in the US, I weighed a grand total of 264.6 pounds in December. I now weigh 218, a grand total loss of 46.5 pounds and... Yeah, it, it's not an easy journey by far, but it's so worth it. I was looking this morning at some of my YouTubes and even though I knew I felt fat and frumpy and horrible, it's not until you look back now at the videos and it's part of the reason I've done these videos is to be able to look at myself and see the changes and I can see the changes already are, are happening. Um, I am really chuffed. I get messages um, through the Facebook group, like this morning, I had a girl called, let me just find it out. I had a girl message me called Paula Cox. So Paula Cox, I know you're quite behind on my videos, but when you do eventually watch this, it's so lovely to get messages like you sent me to say, thank you for my videos. You're thanking me for the inspiration, I guess. And I just, I really hoped that my journey could do that to other people because I know through watching other people's, that's what I gained. Um, I will keep repeating that, you know, I know Paula, you've got your surgery or your first appointment is booked um, in June sometime this year. Just remember and bear in mind anybody going through this, this is such a personal journey, a unique and, you know, it's purely about you. You can read everybody's blogs and posts and you can hope and pray that maybe yours will go like this or yours will go like that. You're going to lose weight really fast or maybe you won't, but it doesn't happen like that. It's not textbook in that respect it's personal to you it's how your body reacts to your surgery to your healing it's how your body reacts to food now i had a dumping syndrome which i talked about on thursday after macaroni cheese cheesy pasta last night you'll never guess what caused me to dump a bloody apple for those of you on instagram you will know because i posted a really uh, picture of me i had an apple now i had an apple a few weeks ago I told you it made me feel sick and i think when I've had these dumping syndrome feelings, I've really tried to push it down and not allow that to come to a head, I guess. Now, the first time it happened, second time I had an apple, I decided to cut it into small pieces, chew it loads, and it went down fine, good. Well, last night, not so good. I probably had two thirds of the apple, chewed it, chewed it, chewed it, tasted delicious, loved the crunch in my mouth, loved everything about it. Within about 10 minutes, I just felt rotten. It's the same as I felt when I was in Sainsbury's last week. Like I was already laying on the sofa, whereas in Sainsbury's I wanted to curl up on the floor and go to sleep. But 
just to explain to you, this apple, I couldn't concentrate on watching the television. I couldn't really keep my focus on anything at all. I just had to go to bed. That's all you can do when you feel like that. And luckily I had a bin near me and I was able to vomit. It was mainly froth, frothies, you know, the foamies that you vomit kind of. Um, and there was a little bit of apple that came up, but not an awful lot. It's just like it just didn't go down and it wasn't going to go down. So I had to get rid of it. So that wasn't very pleasant, but it meant I had a good early night and we'd had a busy weekend anyway, so that was okay. Um, yeah, so just thank you to all you guys that follow me. I think this morning I've looked and I've got 122 subscribers and that, that seems absolutely ludicrous. Predominantly this video story journey me was all about me being able to look back and see how far I've come and which is always really good to do but the fact that people are following me and finding inspiration from what I'm talking about is great um I haven't had the best of news today I, I will talk about just briefly off um weight loss surgery for a second my friend who I went to school with has been battling the dreaded fucking cancer for probably about a year now and he's had ca he's had chemotherapy and he's had um radiotherapy and they've taken bits out and tried to fix pieces here there and everywhere and in fact today i heard from his mum that he's not good and there's a tumor reappeared and they can't operate so it's made me really pensive today it's made me feel a little bit emotional because i'm going to go and see him on thursday and i don't know if he's watching this i just want to say i love you jamie why does bad shit happen to good people, hey? Um, that, I was just trying to explain to my friend on the phone, there's a weird feeling in me over weighing up, feeling guilty because my life, but before anybody comments or jumps on that, just, just hear me out. I'm weighing up with feeling guilty because my life and my health are so good at this point. I'm not saying my life's been without struggles, but, you know, I chose to have this surgery. It wasn't life-saving surgery. I chose to have it to better my life. Um, and I've come through that with flying colours and I'm doing really, really well. And I'm feeling great and healthy and energetic. And I've got a fantastic husband that adores me and I adore him. And our life is really, really good. And we have a great future to look forward to. Now, nobody knows what's around the corner, but then... I have Jamie in my mind and it makes me feel really sad for him because he's done nothing to deserve this, nothing at all. He doesn't smoke, he doesn't particularly drink. He's led a pretty normal, I say normal, he's hilarious, but you know what I mean? Do, do, do you get me that you kind of, it makes you sit and think, nobody knows what tomorrow holds. I think what I'm trying to say is life's really fucking unfair sometimes and I know Liz will completely agree with that as well who's going through similar things with her own child um and liz can i just say congratulations to you i'll turn this around a little bit you look fantastic i can't again going back to weight loss surgery so jamie i love you and you're going to get through this i'll be there you know that and lisa too we're going to go on thursday and see you anyway um, I don't want to get all morbid and I just wanted to put it out there. So Liz is looking really, really well. She's had her surgery. She had a sleeve gastrectomy yesterday on Sunday. So this is one of the girls that I've met through this weight loss community. The community here has been brilliant. Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. I've loved all of it and I found real support and comfort from it. So Liz is one of those girls that I've met through there. I haven't actually met her yet, but I'm sure one day we will have a meet up. But bless her, you know, talking about individual journeys, she sent us a picture this morning and she's got this this pick line out of her neck she's got a catheter and it just goes to show how everybody's journey is different the surgeons work differently what they do um, some people have catheters some people have drains some people have to have laxatives before they go I didn't have any of that some people have to wear paper knickers for god's sake mm -mm, not me girlfriend not me I wore my own knickers they were big knickers but I wore my own knickers. So just bear that in mind, you know, and I think when people put out there on the Facebook group, what questions should I ask? Anything, everything. Put it out there to the group because if you forget to ask a question, we'll remind you of what you need to be asking. And just, you know, being prepared and forewarned is forearmed so that you, co you know, Liz is obviously not um, 
surprised that she's got this pick line in her neck. I say pick line, it's to administer uh, the medications, the morphine, whatever, after surgery. Mine went into my hand with the cannula, as in, I think, most people's do, um, which is kind of less invasive, maybe. I don't know, but he, the, her surgeon obviously has a reason to do that. I'm not quite sure what it is, apart from that maybe they get the medication quicker through there. I, I don't know. But anyway, I just want to say you look great, Liz. You look absolutely amazing considering you've just been through your surgery yesterday. Rest up now and get well, and then you can get home and look after those babies. So, so yes, guys, this is me today. I didn't want to drone on. Like I said, I'm not feeling 100% because of my news of Jamie, and I can only wish him well. And, you know, I don't believe in God. And do you know what? That's why I don't believe in God, because I really think if there was a God, this is not meant to turn religious. Let that bad shit happen to bad people. You know, there's some despicable people in this world that do really fucking horrible things. And if there was a God up there or some higher power, strike them down. Go and get rid of the paedophiles. Go and do the, don't do it to good people. You know, that really pisses me off. Really pisses me off. But anyway, that's how I feel today. A bit like, I've got a few errands to run. And go and do it. At least I'm not talking about poo, Lisa, on your, <laughs> on your lunch break. Anyway, guys, sorry, it's a bit of an up-down one, really, all over the place. But thank you for following me. If you haven't already, click, click like and subscribe. Leave us a comment in the box below. Any questions, I will answer anything about anything, really. I don't mind what it's about. You can ask me anything you like. I will chat again to you guys. Chat again, that sounded really awful. I will speak to you again tomorrow at some point. That's better. Okay, guys, bye.